This is the modified Oberheim DX, uh, and it looks like it's been modified, obviously. I've got kind of changed the sliders, taken the caps off, and I've got the pitch pots up here, and the decay pots. I've added decay to each of the voices here, and so basically, on something like the claps, you can hear how the pitch gets modified. And we're that guy. And then for the decay, to make the sound get very, very short, do a tick, or you can stretch that out all the way. Something like the cymbal, it's also more obvious. You can. And then the decay. Almost like a hi hat. So you can extend that out like that. And so the pitch pots basically were brought up from the back, and the decay pots I added by adding transistor circuits. But maybe the most interesting thing about this happens when you turn the lights off. And basically, that's when you can see that all of these pots are actually illuminated. And so you can see that basically it's now that you can illuminate that. And maybe that's not so interesting, but there's a switchable mode in which each of the buttons is mapped into each of the individual LEDs. There's a sample of how that works. Basically, you can see that and you can see that basically I just loaded this sequence with getting every single button in sequence, and you can do things like this. And you can see you can do crazy things with the lights. Maybe they can chase each other. Snaking around. Making in the other direction. And but basically for <coughs> Yeah, it's just kind of fun to watch the patterns on kind of a regular beat. And that's what I call the DX, basically, L-E-D-X. That's it.